Are open relationships and polyamory suitable for all women? Why do some women experience anorgasmia and how to overcome it? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open relationships and polyamory are not suitable for all women. These relationship structures are personal choices and should be based on communication, consent, and the comfort of all parties involved. Anorgasmia is the inability to reach orgasm and can have multiple causes, such as emotional, psychological, or medical factors. Overcoming it may require sexual therapy, counseling, or changes in how one approaches sexuality, including open communication with the partner. Age fetishism. Some individuals experience sexual attraction towards people of certain ages, either towards young adults, juvenilism, or towards older individuals, gerontophilia. Age-related anorgasmia. As people age, they may experience changes in sexual response that contribute to anorgasmia, such as decreased genital sensitivity or hormonal changes. Alternative positions. In addition to traditional sexual positions, some women enjoy more creative and unconventional positions, such as the 69, the screw, or the sex swing, which offer new sensations and experiences. Anorgasmia and sexual education. Lack of adequate sexual education and understanding of normal sexual response can contribute to anorgasmia by creating unrealistic expectations or myths about sex and orgasm. Antibiotic resistance. Some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, are developing resistance to antibiotics, making their treatment and control difficult. In conservative societies in Asia and Africa, sexual education may face resistance due to entrenched cultural and religious norms, limiting access to accurate information on sexual and reproductive health. Authenticity. Being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. BDSM accessories. Sex toys related to BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism include a wide variety of accessories such as whips, handcuffs, gags, and ropes used to explore consensual power and control dynamics. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Breaking with the traditional model. Open relationships challenge the traditional model of monogamous relationships, offering an alternative for those seeking unconventional forms of intimacy and commitment. In countries like Canada and Australia, specific sexual education programs have been developed to address the needs of LGBTQ plus youth and promote inclusion and respect for sexual and gender diversity. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm, derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix. This type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. Changes in sexuality with age. Sexuality can change throughout life due to factors such as aging, physical and mental health, and hormonal changes. It is important to adapt to these changes and find new ways to enjoy sexual intimacy. Clear head phenomenon. After orgasm, some people experience a sense of mental clarity known as the clear head phenomenon. This may be due to the release of endorphins and stress relief. Communication and acceptance. Open communication and mutual acceptance are crucial in exploring fetishes and sexual fantasies. A relationship based on trust and respect can allow partners to safely and satisfyingly share their intimate desires. Comprehensive approach. Addressing STDs requires a comprehensive approach that includes education, prevention, early detection, proper treatment, access to healthcare services, and reducing the stigma associated with these diseases. Congenital syphilis. If a pregnant woman has untreated syphilis, she can transmit it to the fetus, resulting in congenital syphilis. 
This can cause serious complications, including birth defects, premature birth, and even fetal death. Consent and ethics. Consent from all parties involved is crucial in open relationships. All sexual encounters must be consensual and respect previously established boundaries. Control exercises. Control exercises, such as the stop-start technique, can help men improve their ability to delay ejaculation by practicing self-regulation of sexual arousal. Couples pornography consumption. Some couples watch pornography together as a way to explore fantasies, increase arousal, and enhance sexual communication as long as it's consensual and respectful. Creating a sensual environment. Carefully preparing the environment for foreplay with soft lighting, gentle music, and seductive scents can help create a sensual atmosphere that stimulates all the senses. Cultural differences in sex education. Cultural differences influence the sex education received by individuals, including messages about sexuality, sexual pleasure, and acceptable sexual practices. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Customization. Many sex toy manufacturers offer the option to customize products according to customer preferences, including colors, shapes, and specific functions. Dedication. Time. Foreplay doesn't have to be rushed and can be enjoyed as an end in itself. Taking enough time to explore and enjoy each moment can lead to a more rewarding and satisfying sexual experience. Diversity of configurations. There is no one way to have an open relationship. Some couples may choose to have strict rules about who they can have sexual relationships with, while others may allow more freedom and flexibility. Diversity of fetishes. There is a wide range of sexual fetishes, ranging from inanimate objects, body parts, specific activities, to particular situations or contexts. Some common examples include foot fetishism, bondage, voyeurism, among others. Dominance and submission fantasies are common in human sexuality. Some people enjoy dominant roles, while others prefer submissive roles in sexual relationships. Dry orgasm and prostate health. Men experiencing dry orgasms without ejaculation may do so due to prostate health issues, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Consulting a doctor is important in these cases. Edible toys. Edible sex toys, such as flavored lubricants or massage oils, add a playful and sensual element to intimacy, allowing couples to explore new forms of oral pleasure. Effects on mental health. There has been debate about the potential negative effects of pornography on mental health, including addiction, erectile dysfunction, and sexual dissatisfaction. Empathy. The ability to show empathy and understanding towards the feelings and needs of others can be an attractive trait in a man. Erectile dysfunction and excessive alcohol. Consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can negatively affect erectile function by interfering with the body's ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Reducing alcohol consumption can help improve erectile function in some men. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.